And one of the Black Queen here with another episode of Queen Reacts, and I'm getting to this week's episode of Mono Pony Friendship and Magic Season 8, Episode 10. Oh, we're on the 10th episode already. And uh, the episode title, I believe, is uh, The Breakup Breakdown. And the only thing I'm pretty sure I know about this, and which I'm pretty sure is a big detail, is that it's a. Uh, I know it has to do with Big Mac because the video that I downloaded has Big Mac on it. Unless it's someone else, but like, I just know, or like someone else in the Apple family. But I, I know Big Mac might be involved, so I'm guessing it might be like Big Mac and Sugar Bell breakup, which seems like pretty, uh, she's pretty soon for that. It's like, I don't know, unless it's just like a temporary thing, like they have a fight or something. And like they either break up or he thinks they break up. I don't know. It's a po it, I don't really know. There's a lot of things to happen. Or it could be someone else that just happens. Like there just happens to be Big Mac in the episode. But that's all. That's really all I know. And I'm looking at the. Uh, like it's the. Uh, I believe this is the Apple Family's kitchen. So yeah, I'm really thinking that it has. That it's like Big Mac and Sugar Bell here. But uh, yeah, there's pretty much a lot you can probably you can probably get from this. So let's just get right into it. In three, two, one, play. Baking a pot. Oh also this has subtitles. I, this is the only one I could download with subtitles. Said it, Big Mac. This is taking forever I know it's wrong to cut corners when it comes to gifts from the heart, but this is an emergency, right? Yep. Discord! A little help. Is, wait, Discord. Discord? Yay! <laughs> oh, no? Oh, good idea. <clears throat> it's good to see the, this Can friendship again. Are you prepared to enter the world of ogres and oubliettes? There we go. Fellow adventurers, <laughs> shall we storm the ramparts of nice. Wizard's Castle to reclaim Calico's ring of imperceptibility? You did summon me for a rousing. Guys, knight of ogres and ogliettes, did you oh. not? Uh, sort of. So this is gonna be like another guy's, uh, like another guy's, another guy's episode. First? You seem to be mixing up the Lord of Chaos with a second-rate clown magician for hire. Wait! <laughs> she needs to go in the mail today, or it'll never get to Sugar Bell in time for Hearts and Hoofs Day. <laughs> Please, can you see that that holiday is a commercialized ruse? Pushed on you by the greeting card industry. <clears throat> same thing with uh oh, <laughs> same thing with Valentine's Day in your life. You owe me for this. Keep your eye on the pie. It's magic time. So what did he do? My little boy. Okay, I'm gonna try like turn down the theme for this, like I used to do, just in case that has something to do with the copyright. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm, I'm definitely seeing where this is going, except for, like, I don't really know how it might, how the breakup might happen, if it is a breakup, in, indeed. It, I'm assuming so, just by the, just by the title. Because you can't really just say the breakup breakdown and not have any breakups in it. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to guess that, I just don't know how it's gonna happen. And I don't know if it's like gonna, if they're like gonna come back together or something, or if it's just like the end of their relationship or something. This smells uh, palatable. Well, pies really are Sugar Bell's thing, but I think that makes us all the more special. Oh right, that's right. I forgot. She's a like she's a baker. I forgot and that. She's planning a big romantic hearts and hooves dinner. It was my idea to bake the invitation inside. Happy hearts and hooves day, Sugar Bell. Meet me in my barn at sunset. Oh, what damn. Surprise. Pretty clever, huh? Yep. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sugar Bell. See? Get it? <laughs> I get it. You two certainly have bought into this romance nonsense. Hook, line, and sinker. Well, formerly from this immortal despot, you're pretty cynical. I'm a realist, and love, like all things warm and fuzzy, isn't real. Aw, oh, come on. You act tough, but deep down you're a softie. I mean, you don't have tea with Fluttershy every weekend because you like tea. Oh, okay. I do like tea. Every tea, all the teas. Okay, so they're hinting at that ship. I can see that. 
I bet I I don't think Master Robot's gonna hate this episode then. <laughs> Tell you what, well, Big Mac Mills is incredibly romantic gesture. I'll show you the splendors of hearts and hooves day in Ponyville. Oh, okay, so it's gonna be a devil thing. Or like, is it gonna be fine? Call it a gentleman's wager. Okay. Loser mows my lawn for eternity. He has no lawn. Is it like a riding mower or tweezers? <laughs> I don't think he has a lawn though. Oh, Derby! <laughs> oh wait, but it's Derby, then she might not. Will it get lost? Or will it not? I don't know. Hear ye, hear ye. This special Hearts and Hooves Day meeting of the Cutie Mark Crusaders is next. Oh, that's right. They were in the first Hearts and Hooves Day episode, weren't they? Was it the Shirley? decorate the barn for his big date with Sugar Bell tonight. And. Hello? It seems like every pony's got some pony special but us. When's it gonna be our turn? Oh. It looks like it's addressed to. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, now I see. certainly went through a lot of trouble. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. I know this is gonna end bad, but I can't, I can't help but watch this. This is. Could it be? Hang on a minute. Mysterious package, smudged address. No idea who it's from. There's gonna be a lot of shipping stuff in this. Ogres and <laughs> As a great that's a, that's a question a which I still have yet to answer. I love you with the utmost clarity. I love you, dear, my sweet, <laughs> sweet Mary. Are you even listening? <laughs> of course, love is oh, I have one of those. And is great. Oh, not. I mean, I, I have a ship, but like, and I was able to. Do, I was able to do it. Sure. I just after you admit you believe in love, never did it after that Sugar again. Big Mac's girlfriend. She doing it town so early. Well, Sugar Bill, I I'm sure Big Mac won't be expecting it. Oh, okay. <gasps> She's so, planning her own romantic surprise. So both of them have a surprise. Both of them have a surprise. Sweet Apple Acres before Big Mac's ready with his surprise. We gotta warn him. <laughs> okay, I think I see now how what might happen. Whoa. Mig back. Mig back. Corner, but I think she's on her way over here now. We gotta keep her away from here until the barn's finished. <laughs> Gasp. I wonder what she has planned. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, we don't have to wonder. <sighs> Will you warn me next time you do that? Oh. Discord, this is what love is all about. Spike, love is about spying in the bushes. Um, me all you want, look at nah, that's like peeping Tom Tell stuff. <laughs> oh, God. I hope he'll be okay without me. <laughs> oh, hey, we're just... That's fine. Hush! <laughs> I mean, he has been on his own before, so he'll be fine, right? <sighs> How should I tell Big Mac tonight? You won't need to come visit me in my village anymore? Okay, so he thinks... Talk. Just be honest with him. You're right. Okay, we're finished. Wait, what? Oh. There's... There it is. I'm pretty sure it's a misunderstanding. That's not what she means. Oh, 
Oh god, he's drinking. <laughs> he's fucking drinking. Yeah, I doubt she's actually breaking up with him or something. I'm calling an emergency guys night right now to cheer you up. Well, he's sweet. Besides, Ew. We can't have you ruin the thousand-year-old monogrammed handkerchiefs. These are silk, you know. Oh. Yeah, this again. Class is now in session. Lesson one, nothing can break your heart if you only love yourself. You've got to show every pony that you're too cool to be bothered with so-called love. Observe. This is how cool guys lean against things. When you see a guy leaning against a thing looking this cool, you think, wow, that guy doesn't have a care in Equestria. Not a guy who leans on things that cool. I don't think leaning's gonna help. Am I doing it right? <laughs> nope. We're not like you, Discord. We can't put on a front and pretend not to love. It's impossible. Lesson two. Plenty of ponies in the pasture, right, Big Mac? I know just the gal to make you forget all about Sugar Bell. You said her Oh. Oi, vey. Come on, dude. Which means we got the rest of the day to ourselves. There's a whole town of possible admirers out there, and only three of us. But together, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Ready? Right. Hey. Excuse me, this week, can I answer a few questions? No? Late for something? Are you a sweetie bell secret admirer? Excuse me, I'm doing a research. That would make sense, though, but. <laughs> I won't be offended. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Sir McBiggins beats Skelenor. She's a level 18 bone warrior in Squizzard's mage army, but only to pay Look off badass. skeleton student loan debt. Get to know each other, why don't you? Wow, you're really going all out to cheer up Big Mac. I'm impressed. Yes, yes, I'm amazing. <laughs> anyway, since we're in the neighborhood, care for a quick game of ogres and ogres. That's why. <laughs> like I've been wanting to play all week. I take it back. I'm helping <laughs> our friend first and foremost. See for yourself. Wait, how? How did? Oh. I think he's showing her a picture of Sugar Bell. What? And now he's crying. No, 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 he's not. Let me see that. Don't touch it. I'm looking. Give me that. It's, it's, it's a piece of cardboard. Her nose would wrinkle when she laughed. Right there. In that hole where your nose used to be. I never told her how much I love to wrinkle those cutie face. Teeth. Now I never will. I just realized he's an, I just realized he has a horn. How did I not realize that? Unless, I don't know. I do when I have a problem too big to solve. I hide from it. When she can't find you, she'll realize how much she misses you. Plus, if she can't find you, she can't break up with you. Yep. Huh. <laughs> I don't get it. We asked every stallion in Ponyville. Ugh, there's gotta be Even the older ones? Sugar Bell is so lucky to have a non-secret admirer like Big Mac. Well, 
Well, she certainly doesn't seem to have appreciated it. I bet she's gonna take one look at this barn and say, what did I ever do to deserve this? Yes, what did she do to deserve <laughs> this? She broke my heart. Well, not, not yet. yet. Technically. In fact, she can break your heart if you break hers first. Oh, no, that's not good. Thanks for the tour of Ponyville, Mrs. Cake. Oh, my pleasure. I'm up to surprise Big Mac with the news. Imagine the look on his face when I tell him we need to talk. Oh, dear me, no. I told you, don't say it that way, or you'll think you're breaking up with him. Breaking mm -hmm. up with him? Never. Why, without my favorite delivery... I swear, daughter, she's pregnant, that's... Happy ever again. He knows that. Good. Save your mix-up for cake batter, that's what I always say. <laughs> He's a good listener, that pony. I promise you. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, no. Big Mac. Tinkerbell, we need to talk. Jeez. I know why you're here. You do? I have something to tell you first. Oh, can I go first? No. I'm going to be... Stop. 500 miles. I don't know. What? It's over. What's over? You and me. It's over. What? We're breaking up. Understand. Oh God, it's hurting. Why are you up with me? Why are you leaning like that? I don't know. Big Mac, please talk to me. I, you. Uh, this is why I don't like talking. Words can hurt. Words hurt. Goodbye, Sugar Bell. Well, that hurt. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I get, okay, yeah, that's, the, the ship's pretty much been confirmed, for like, for years. Oh, there's Maud, and, uh, what's his name? Forgot what, forgot what, what, uh, Maud's boyfriend's name was. The Are those all oh, the, okay, God, I don't know. I should probably have said something. <laughs> you all should go. Did ya? Did she? Are ya? Big Mac? What's going on? Where's Sugar Bell? Just go. But we worked so hard on this chart. I think we've almost cracked it. If you could just... Not right now. But I can't stand having a secret admirer who's too scared to tell me who he is. Maybe he doesn't like talking. Oh. That doesn't Used to talk too much, and it only ever got him into trouble. <sighs> what if you're right, Discord? This is actually a very what deep episode. It isn't real at all. There's like a lot of suspense with it. <sighs> Light bulb. I'm just mad, and I'm taking it out on you. That's okay. I bet it felt good to get it out, though. Actually, it did. <laughs> Telling you how I felt just then. I gotta go. Yeah. Hey, Where are you going? I gotta talk to Sugar Bell. Discord, you gotta use your magic and... Guess you have better things to do. He gone. Big Mac's gonna need a miracle. <gasps> Ugh. All the rotten luck. I've had that happen with a cart. I've, I've actually... Yeah. And in the mud, too. I almost slipped though, but I never actually did. Caught you just in time. We both know I don't like to say much, but I'm gonna say something now. Even though I'm hurt, I wouldn't trade this feeling for anything, because it'd mean giving up the good times we had too. I only broke up with you because you were gonna break up with me. I respect your decision. You should know. You'll always be in my heart. I didn't want to break up with you. Yep, there it is. But you said you don't need me to visit anymore. You said I'm going to be on my own. I, I heard you said we're finished when I was hiding in the bushes. <laughs> don't say that. that. sounds worse than it is. Oh, Big Mac, I was talking about my cousin. I have this hey, cousin he never was right. On his own, but I have to let him run my shop on weekends, which is why you won't be delivering to my village anymore. 
guess I'll already be here apprenticing with Mrs. Cake, who does that two days a week. No, three. Wait till I tell Spike. <laughs> I'll never break up with you. Oh. I suppose there's a lesson here somewhere about communication. Talking instead of a Communication breakdown. Oh, wait. I just got that. Breakdown. Okay. <laughs> Snort. You must have been awful confused at my breaking up with you after you got my pie. What pie? You didn't get the pie. Okay, oh yeah, we gotta have to touch up on that. Or the invitation. Uh uh. Well in that case, allow me to escort you to a hearts and hooves day surprise. Surprise. Wait, so they are they gonna like continue the Yeah they are. Mind if we join you? It's actually pretty sad because like Happy Hearts and Hooves Day, Sugar Bell. Meet me. Uh huh. Sugar Bell? You have got to be pulling our hooves. It was all a mix up? <laughs> oh, it's funny. I've been sitting here feeling sorry for myself for not having a special pony on Hearts and Hooves Day. But as it turns out, she still doesn't have one. I mean, if you think about it, she was upset because like she couldn't find a secret admirer that she could, like she thought she had one though, and now the resolution is she doesn't have one and it's okay. So was confusion apparently, and a fair number of assumptions. But you have to admit, after seeing everything Big Mac went through, love is one hundred percent real. Seriously, Discord, come on! I believe you. Who do you think broke Sugar Bell's wagon wheel? Oh, okay. Happy Hearts and Hooves Day! You old softy. <laughs> I knew you had a heart. Speaking of how great I am, are you busy for the rest of the Sorry, night? Calico's ring of imperceptibility isn't going to reclaim. Oh yeah, this is like this is this is the thing that uh single people do. I thought you'd never ask. On Valentine's Day, they uh just. And never mind. Just wondering, no biggie, but is Skillinor gonna be there? Hi. <sighs> She's an imaginary one-dimensional paper cutout skeleton. Of course she will. Well, the pony's perfect. Yeah, that's that's really sad in another way. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I really did enjoy that episode. That was hilarious, suspenseful, and uh, I could I, although I could like see part of the plot like just from the beginning. Uh, it did kind of like switch it up on me. Like I thought it was like like she wasn't gonna get the pie because like he got messed up and then she would break up with him for that or something like that. But uh, yeah, th this episode did have me laughing. Hey, Hasbro Studios. So yeah, uh, probably one of my favorite episodes of the of the season so far. Is that uh, it was just that it really did pull me in. Like thinking what exactly they were going to do, if they were going to break up or not. Because like, I was pretty sure, like, no, nah, nah, it's too early for that, and they didn't seem like anyone who would be fighting or anything. And I could see, like, I guess that's kind of a cliche, like, uh, oh, I think she's going to break up with me, I better break up with her first then, so I don't have to... <laughs> I guess like, I've seen, like, like, it's sort of more, like, intense than that. But, uh... Yeah, I did. I was thinking, like, some, somewhat that what uh, happened in this episode, I kind of like figured would happen. But uh, yeah, some. I'm pretty sure, like, most of it was uh, just totally off guard. I didn't think of each of it to happen, like everything to happen. I didn't think uh, Discord would be in it. Cause that was that threw me off. It's like Discord on a hot and hot and hoax day in the episode. Unless it had like something to do with Fluttershy, which it did actually hint on that. I like another thing I like about this episode. They hinted a lot of stuff. Like uh, they hinted the Lyra and Bon Bon relationship again, which you know what? Let's be honest. That's pretty much been confirmed. Just like they're not going to be saying it, of course. I don't blame them for that. Just yeah, as long as they they keep hinting at it, I'm sure like people will, like understand that part. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. God bless, stay safe, have a nice day, and as always, goodbye.